Okay. So like Colt's story started a long time ago, when his parents were Brawl Stars fighters, who came to the jungle to train and find new inspiration for their fighting moves. During their trip, a group of bandits attacked them, stole their supplies, and left them to die. Colt miraculously survived but was left alone and helpless in the jungle. Several weeks passed after Colt's parents died. In search of food, he wandered through the jungle and unexpectedly stumbled upon a tribe of mischievous monkeys. They swung on vines, played games, and caused all sorts of mischief. Feeling curious, Colt approached the monkeys. He greeted them in sign language as best he could, even though he was scared of them. The monkeys nodded in response. Colt decided to share his only banana with them to show them that he was their friend. The monkeys happily accepted the gift and offered him a strange fruit that he had never seen before in return. When he took a bite of the fruit, he felt a surge of energy in his body. He tried to take a step, but instead, he made a huge leap like a monkey. Colt was amazed. He made a few more jumps and suddenly realized that he could easily climb rocks and jump from branch to branch. For a moment, he saw several monkeys carrying a suit made of woven vines, leaves, and branches towards him. It was decorated with colorful feathers and beads, and it even had a tail. But the suit also had a built-in radio to communicate with the team and goggles that allow for quick aiming if you had a pistol or even two. However, Colt didn't know that yet. With caution, Colt put on the suit. He felt a little silly in it, but he understood that this was the only way to win the trust and respect of the monkeys. When the monkeys saw Colt in the suit, they happily welcomed him. That day, he became part of their family. The monkeys taught him how to climb trees, swing on vines, and hunt for food in the jungle. After some time, it was hard to tell Colt apart from the other monkeys. He was just as fast and agile as they were. When Colt got older, he became more daring, venturing deeper into the jungle and encountering all sorts of wild creatures. During one of his adventures, he stumbled upon a stash of weapons left behind by a group of poachers. Among the weapons were a pair of modified pistols designed to shoot darts with tranquilizers. Colt loved tinkering with his dad's revolver since he was a kid, so he quickly figured out how to modify these pistols to use in the jungle. He discovered that regular bananas could be used as ammo and honed his aim and accuracy to shoot with incredible precision. Bananas turned out to be incredibly effective, and soon Colt became known throughout the jungle for his sharp shooting skills and ability to deftly use banana bullets. Once while patrolling the jungle like usual Colt overheard a group of monkeys talking about strange occurrences they had seen at the edge of the jungle. They were saying they saw robotic creatures hiding out there, making weird sounds. Colt thought this could be a serious threat to his tribe and decided to scope out what those robots were all about. Following the animals' descriptions, he tracked the robots to a hidden clearing in the depths of the jungle. Approaching the clearing, he saw the main evil robot leading the pack. It was tall and scary, with glowing red eyes and sharp metallic limbs. It had a cold, calculating gaze and a fierce determination to conquer the jungle and its inhabitants. Colt watched from his jungle hideout as the robots set up their base camp, equipped with advanced technology and weapons. He knew he had to act fast to prevent them from harming the jungle and its creatures. So, for the next few weeks, he devoted himself to planning and preparing for the upcoming battle. He trained his monkey friends to act as scouts, gathering information about the robots' movements and weak spots. He also started experimenting with different types of fruits and vegetables, hoping to find a new way to defeat the robots. To prepare for the battle, Colt tirelessly trained, honing his skills in accurate shooting and working on his monkey agility. He scouted the jungle and gathered supplies, crafted traps and makeshift weapons from vines, leaves, and other materials. He even enlisted the help of his monkey friends, teaching them to fight alongside him in the upcoming battle. But despite all his preparations, Colt knew that he needed a special trick to defeat the robots. He wandered through the jungle trying to come up with a way to defeat such a strong enemy like a high-tech armored robot. One day he stumbled upon a patch of wild bananas being blown by an unusually cold wind. Curious, he picked one of the bananas and took a bite, but found it to be hard and difficult to chew. He tried freezing another one to see what would happen and was surprised to find it became even harder than before. Colt got hella intrigued and started experimenting with freezing bananas and using them as ammo in his guns. He watched in awe as they smashed to bits upon impact and realized this could be a powerful weapon in battle. So, he spent weeks perfecting his technique trying out different freezing methods and aiming with deadly precision. He even created special magazines for his guns where he could store frozen banana bullets. And he taught his monkey friends to collect and freeze bananas to keep a constant supply of ammo. One day, Colt decided to practice his shooting skills with frozen banana bullets in a secluded area of the jungle. He set up some targets and started shooting with his frozen bullets. 
To his horror, he found he couldn't control the flight trajectory of the bullets. They spun uncontrollably, bouncing off trees and missing the targets. Disappointed, he tried to adjust his aim, but the frozen bananas were too unpredictable. It was like they had their own mind and no matter how he aimed they always veered off course at the last moment. He felt more like a clumsy amateur than an experienced fighter. At one point, he fired both guns at the same time but the frozen bananas went in different directions, collided in mid-air and exploded turning into banana puree. Feeling embarrassed, Colt looked around to make sure no one witnessed his hilarious miss. But to his surprise, he saw a group of monkeys watching him from the nearest trees. They chattered and laughed pointing at him and imitating his clumsy shooting. Colt couldn't help but laugh. He realized that even though he was an experienced fighter, there was still so much he had to learn about using frozen banana bullets. He knew mastering frozen banana bullets would take time and effort, just like any other skill. So, he continued to practice determined to succeed. Over time Colt began to learn the tricks and techniques of controlling frozen banana bullets. He learned how to shoot them in rapid succession one after the other from both guns at once. And soon, he was hitting targets with deadly accuracy. By the end of next week Colt was totally crushing it with his frozen banana bullets hitting his targets with precision and skill. He felt super stoked and proud to have mastered the sick weapon once again. He knew he was ready to take on any challenge in the jungle and was sure that his frozen banana bullets would be a key tool in the fight to protect the jungle. When it was time to battle the robots, Colt put on his trusty monkey suit, loaded up his banana guns, and led his monkey friends into battle. As soon as the robots entered the jungle, Colt knew he had to act fast to protect his home. He knew he didn't have as many frozen banana bullets as he wanted, so he decided to start with regular bananas. He loaded his banana weapons with regular bananas and aimed at the first robot he saw. With a loud whistle the banana bullet flew towards the robot and hit it right in the chest, but the shot didn't phase the robot at all. It just looked down at the banana spot on its chest and kept moving forward, destroying everything in its path. The robot stomped on all the beautiful plants growing in the jungle and cut down palm trees in its way. Determined not to let the robots win, Colt fired another banana bullet and then another and another. But no matter how many bananas he fired, the robots kept coming, seeming unfazed by his attacks. They destroyed more and more of the beautiful plants growing in the jungle that Colt loved so much. Feeling bummed and a little desperate, Colt loaded another plain banana into his pistol and aimed at the leader of the small group of robots. The banana hit the robot right in the forehead and bounced off, falling to the ground. The robot paused for a second, making a sound like laughter, before continuing to move forward. Taking another step, the robot stepped on a broken banana that had fallen underfoot, slipped on the peel, flailing its arms and legs, and then crashed to the ground. Cole couldn't help but laugh feeling a momentary sense of small victory, but then realized that the battle was far from over. With renewed determination, he loaded his banana guns with frozen fruits and prepared for the real battle to begin. In the midst of the battle, Colt came up against a group of super strong robots that seemed invincible to his regular banana bullets. He realized he needed a new strategy, and then he remembered the frozen bananas he had in his emergency backpack. He quickly grabbed the frozen bananas and loaded them into his revolvers. He aimed and fired. The frozen banana slammed into the robot's chest at high speed piercing it all the way through. Through the hole in the robot's chest you could see the destroyed part of the jungle behind it that the robots had demolished. Colt full of determination loaded the next clip of frozen banana bullets and started shooting from both revolvers simultaneously. He kept shooting and shooting, watching as the frozen fruits crashed into the robots, causing them to shatter and break into pieces. But the robots weren't going to give up without a fight. They opened fire with their modern weapons sending beams of energy and firing rounds at Colt and his monkey allies. Colt dodged and weaved evading attacks with the agility of a monkey and shooting back with his special frozen banana bullets. The battle was lit for a few hours straight. Colt and the bots were going at it hard, no chill. At times it seemed like the bots were winning with their advanced tech and heavy firepower. But Colt wasn't about to give up. He knew the jungle and its inhabitants were counting on him for protection, and he was determined to come out on top. Feeling pretty exhausted, Colt fired off his last frozen banana bullet and watched as it hit the main invader robot, causing a short circuit in its mechanical body and making it fall lifeless to the ground. Suddenly, all the other robots stopped in their tracks, shook violently, and sparked. A few seconds later, they started falling to the ground, breaking apart into a pile of pieces, wires, and metal parts. Despite the advanced tech and firepower of the robots, Colt and his monkey tribe emerged victorious. Tired but happy, Colt and his crew left the battle proud of their win. They knew the jungle was safe again, thanks to Colt's bravery and his clever banana bullets. The jungle was safe. 
Since that day, Colt became a hero known throughout all the jungles for his bravery, skill, and slick use of frozen banana bullets. The robots never came back for many generations and the jungles remained safe. That battle changed Colt big time. He started thinking more and more about going back to Brawl City to fight other brawlers in the arenas. But that's a whole other story. Hey friends, if you like this story, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and smash that like button. It'll help my channel grow and bring you more cool stories. Thanks for listening, and good luck in battle.